Hey there, welcome back, it's Adara. So in the last video, we built our very first workflow to prompt chain various prompts together and automatically generate a blog post on any topic that we are passing into the workflow. We're gonna complicate this example just a little bit further to further illustrate how to automate this um, by showing you how to turn this workflow live and use another app or your original blog post app to feed it a bunch of topics that it will then generate um, entire blog posts on. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and deploy this workflow. As you remember from the last video, uh, this is just stringing together AI queries, posting to a retool database, and then sending us an email when it's complete. Um, we have the webhook turned on as the start trigger. So this means we can call this workflow from another app. And when calling it from that app, we're gonna actually pass it a bunch of topics and it's gonna go through and make a blog post on each one of those topics. In order to call this from an app, we're gonna to need to deploy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click deploy. <clears throat> and now the first version of this is deployed. So let's go ahead and go into our app that we built in the very first video. And we're gonna modify it a little bit to be able to generate a bunch of blog posts by calling the workflow that we just built. So uh, to do that, <clears throat> we're gonna change the um, UI a little bit. So we're gonna get rid of the original topic, um, <clears throat> topic text input field. And then here we're going to call this topics. And this is where we will paste all of our topics. And then this button um, will then fire off the workflow and call the workflow we just built, passing it all of the blog posts. So to do that part, we're gonna write a new query and here we're going to click import workflow. This lets us call any of our workflows and then we're going to call our, um, apologies, the title of this is not that good, uh, December 21 workflow from <laughs> 12, 10 p.m. I should probably update that. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pass the topics uh, in here using double curly braces topic. I know this is not interpreting correctly, but trust me, uh, as long as you use double curly braces and name this input the same as the property that you have defined in your workflow, it's going to be dynamic and we'll pass our topics in. So all we have to do now is write some code to parse putting topics here. So I wanna create a bunch of topics like coffee, tea, ice cream, etc. And then I wanna click write blog post and then it's gonna take my workflow and pass each of these in as a parameter. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and write a JavaScript query. And I've already pre-written this, but I'll walk you through how it works. So first we are defining our array of topics and to get our array, we're just gonna take whatever is in our text area one and we're just gonna split it based on a new line. I like to pay, uh, copy paste it where it's, in, where it's a new line instead of a comma, but your separator can be anything you'd like. And then we're gonna take each item that's in that array and for each one, we're gonna fire off query two. This is the workflow query we have and we're gonna pass in uh, through the additional scope, we're gonna pass in each item as the topic. And so with that, uh, that's gonna complete our uh, query three. And all we have to do at this point is connect this query to the button. So here, instead of query one dot trigger, we're just gonna say query three dot trigger. And if we did everything correctly, uh, we can go ahead and um, run this and check to make sure that it works as expected. So the way we know it's working, since we just clicked write blog posts, is we can go back to our workflow and let's go ahead and take a look at the run history and refresh it. And we can see that it's running three workflows. Um, <clears throat> and when we click on each of these workflows, uh, we can see it was triggered from a retool app. And as they finish loading, we can also see that the correct topic was passed in from the main application. So this, work, this first workflow just finished running and I can go to the start trigger 
uh, see that the topic that was passed in was ice cream. And in the second one, coffee. And in the third one, tea. So this is what we would expect. Um, and we can also check in our database to see if these came through there as well. So navigating to our database tab, I can see the three blog posts um, have been created here as well as their date and time of creation. So very excited. Uh, we've now officially built an app that automates blog post generation for us based on a number of topics that we sent to it. And then it stores those blog posts in a database and notifies us via email. Oh, I forgot to show the email part. <clears throat> We can see all the email notifications coming in uh, from our retool email. So very excited to have walked through the complete end-to-end -end automation here. Uh, stay tuned. And in the final tutorial, we're going to discuss how to vectorize any of your data so that the AI can query it and give you insights and or write custom topics, uh, custom um, content based on topics that are relevant to you. See you in the next video.